What's up everybody, my name is Tangible Thomas and we're gonna make another recording. I'm screen recording on my computer right now and uh, I'm recording here on my camera. I got my microphone up here and I wanna get into this video about our Collier County Sheriff's arrests reports that we get to view on the daily basis. I check mine every day see who I know got arrested or you know so just to keep keep an eye out for what's being what's going on in my county you know and I'm hoping that they uh, report all the arrests that go on so uh, let's just uh, get right into the video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Collier County Sheriff's Office in the browser I'm gonna click on colliersheriff.org which I should probably type that up at the top to begin with then I'm gonna get into arrests and warrants. Okay, now let's go to search for an arrest. Hit I accept. Then we go to the booking date. And then let's go 11.05.2022. Okay, so let's check out how many it said that there's 22 people here, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna go through them. All right, so I already I already looked at this guy uh, yesterday, so he's already fugitive, condition domestic violence, and I already checked out uh, this one here, that charge. So let's go return. See what this guy did. Warrant to arrest, battery two or more. So this guy beat up a couple people. And he has a bunch of them too. Batteries everywhere. Possessed firearm. It's a dangerous man right there, guys. I don't know. He might be a really nice guy. Who knows? Anyway, so let's uh, go again. Battery. Smiling. Battery. Kidnap. Kidnap. False imprisonment. Narc. Battery. Gee, he uh, he beat up his girlfriend. He's in my. He's in my town too. Battery, trespass on property other than structure, I wonder, I wonder, Donovan, battery on Leo, resist officer with violence, disorderly intoxication, battery on Leo or fighter fighter, okay. From Pennsylvania. Hmm. I wonder. Let's keep it moving. Oh, this guy. Driving while license suspended. This guy. Driving while license suspended. This guy from Naples. Young Grand Theft 10 to 20k failure to register motor vehicle failure to appear failure to appear failed to have required endorsement on driver's license probably motorcycle dang I didn't know you can get arrested for that no image available all right let's keep it moving. Violation of state probation felony driving while life suspended. Uh, okay. DUI. Daytona Beach from Daytona Beach. DUI. No valid driver's license. No license. How are they gonna arrest all these people for not having a license? They have nothing better to arrest. Uh, come on now. Blood alcohol, DUI, DUI, driver with suspended license. Okay. 
aggravated battery, resist Leo without violence. No valid driver's license. Okay, we'll just keep arresting everybody for not, not having a driver's license. Yeah, just go ahead. No valid driver's license, DUI. Yup, just keep ra ra raking in the money, y'all. Nothing better to do. Okay, obstruction for officer. Come on now. Immokalee, Florida. DUI, no valid driver's license. Wow, okay. Resist officer without violence, disorderly intoxication. Time served. So this guy stayed in jail for... Okay, so let's say bonded out, transferred to, what does that mean? Returned from court sentence. Okay, so he was found guilty. So he stayed in there for about a month, 30 days. No, it was about two months. I don't know. I'm not good at math. Okay. What do you got to rest again for DUI? And now he's bonded out. What does transfer to mean? Alright, uh, so which one of these do I want to know about? Uh, let's do... What about... Say this guy. DUI, no. Residents of Mockley, Florida. DUI and damage to property. Traffic offense, DUI. Um, no. I guess none of these people are really, uh, really interesting. Let's find out what happened with this guy from Pennsylvania. All right, so I found out that we could just copy copy uh, control C then we go to call your clerk this one record search court records search case search click it again case number Check this out. Bomb. Donovan Kevin. Perfect. Dockets. I bet you he was at a bar somewhere and got indigenous status, first appearance, court order, pretrial supervision. Anyways, just click this thing, the paper clip. Find out, all right. They put the, they made, made the judge set the bond. One o'clock in the morning, Inca's kitchen. Subjects Donovan. Mar uh, German reporting person. Battery on Leo resisting with violence. Disorderly intoxication. On the above date and time with the sign to District 1 Road Patrol, I responded to the above mentioned address to reports of a sus suspicious person. The, re the reporting person stated that two males at the above mentioned location were intoxicated and acting stupid. The RP stated that one of the males did a backflip and fell, hitting his head. RP stated Kevin was bleeding from his mouth after the fall. Upon arrival, I was approached by one of the collier EMS paramedics who stated the subject was extremely aggressive toward them and the firefighters. He stated that the subject later identified as Kevin spit at them and the firefighters and was attempting to strike the firefighters due to the subject's address EMS's EMS and the fire personnel locked themselves in their vehicles so they could stay safe. Are you kidding me? 
Upon attempting to make contact with Kevin, I observed him punching the fire truck and yelling profanities at the personnel. I began to get Kevin's attention by using my flashlight and asking him what the problem was. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's exactly what you did. Kevin then turned his attention to me and began to walk towards me in an aggressive way, clenched fist and puffing his chest and screaming rapidly, closing the distance. Menacing. I pushed Kevin away by his shoulder and ordered him to step back. To which he refused by coming back at me and swinging his arms. At this time, I delivered multiple closed-handed strikes to his facial area and took Kevin to the ground where he continued to resist by bracing, tensing, and attempting to get up. I ordered him to stop resisting and placed his hands behind his back with negative results. While on the ground, I felt Kevin take a hold of my deputy weapon and was attempting to remove my we weapon. I immediately secured my weapon and gra by grabbing Kevin's hand. While doing so, I delivered a knee strike to his facial area, pushed away from Kevin. In an attempt to disengage and create distance, Kevin immediately stood up and assumed a fighting stance. At this point, I ordered Kevin to get on the ground and deployed my agency issued taser, which. Okay. Which had negative results. Kevin then began to run from me in an attempt to get away. <laughs> While running away, he collided with one the security guards on scene hitting the floor. At this point, I was able to place him in handcuffs, double locked with the proper spacing. So the security guard helped the officer. Does he get a medal? Does he get a medal? Does that security guy, guard get a medal? He put his life in danger in order to help this, this, this officer. Does he get a medal? Officers, this is their job, you know, let's say they have to do that. But the security officer, they work for somebody else. They work for the other place. They don't work for us. And anyway, who was the caller anyway? It said that the RP stated that one of the males did a backflip and fell hitting his head. RP stated Kevin was bleeding from his mouth. RP stated that two males at the above mentioned location were intoxicated and acting stupid. And then the firefighters and EMS had said that he was being aggressive. And then the officer came up and found that he was punching the fire truck. What kind of idiot punches the fire truck? That people that... I mean, what was the fire truck doing there anyway? Was there a fire? Whoa. I mean, what? I wonder what was exactly said on the phone. I mean, it says that the reporting person stated that two males at the above mentioned location were intoxicated and acting stupid. It's not, They didn't say that he, they were setting fires to the fucking parking lot. I don't know, man. I don't know. This doesn't make sense to me. I get it. They want to they wanna be there to try to help out the situation, but, you know, it, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, at this point, I ordered Kevin to get on the ground and deployed my agency. She tased, oh, I read that. While the medical staff at NCH was attempting to secure him to the hospital bed, Due to his continued aggression behavior, Kevin kicked Corporal Emans in the face, causing injuries to the inside of his mouth. See Corporal Emans report for further. Battery on Leo, resisting office, disorderly intoxication. Due to his injuries, he was admitted to NCH North and turned over to the Naples Jail Center correction staff. Yeah. I'd be pissed off too. I wonder. I wonder, man. I want to start. I want to start buying this stuff because you can actually buy the. Uh, you can buy this. Um, with this case number, look. It says that. Uh, watch. It, there's probably a recording of this, and uh, now they have they have body cams. So I want to see. I want to buy this. Uh, this body cam, and see what actually happened. You know. I want to start comparing their uh, their statement here to the 
uh, body cam, and then I want to do like a a, a um a checks and balances, you know, outside of the courts here in Collier County because these courts, they're they're shady too. They're shady too, man. They're, this this whole little this whole little system stuff is a little bit shady. Uh, I'm not gonna say too much, and I'm not gonna go all out, but you know. And I'm not against the, the the police or anything like that, but there's there's some shade somewhere in this this little Collier County ordeal. So, I mean, I appreciate you guys for taking care of dumbasses like this. I mean, if it is true, I appreciate y'all. You know, you know what I'm saying. You know, if if I need some help and I need I need some somebody, you know, I I, I call. But I, actually, I got some stories for y'all. Anyways, so, um, let's find out, uh, I don't know how long this video has been going, I need to start a timer, but, uh, anyways, I think that's the only, um, the only other one that's, uh, interesting for, for this date, 11.05.2022, so, thanks for watching, my name is Tangible Thomas, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one, peace.